Hi, this is Ray from r, r Innovations. Got a short video on the new ram pump design that we come out with. We're going to offer these for sale in March of this year. They will be sold without a tank. They'll have the T on them and the reducer. You can put your own tank of your own likings on it. Uh, in this video, you'll see a uh, gauge that I made to check head pressure with. And I'll show you the install that we've done, and most importantly, the new standpipe design. Hope you all enjoy the video. All right, we're here at Dylan Thompson's place. I want to show you a device that we built. This is for checking the uh, head pressure. In this particular instance, we are not going to have no uh, uh, standpipe on this one to start with, but we are going to check the pressure and see how much head we got. I'll get back with you. All right, we've got this hooked up and the gauge is showing a little over two pounds. And this is in the state where it's not running. So the ram pump running, and this is where a lot of people miss it, they don't have enough flow. This kind of simulates the ram pump running. And we're still holding about two PSI. Yeah, I've been at sites when you turn the ram pump on, the, uh, they might have 10 foot ahead to start with where it's sitting still. But as soon as you turn it on, the head drops down to maybe three or four foot, six foot. Because they have any accurate lines to feed it. Here we put in a two inch line. And how far? 100 and, what, 150 or something? I think so. Probably 150 feet so far. We may increase that, but if we do, I'll run another video. So we did increase the line length to 170 feet without a standpipe. In the test, this didn't work out well. Ram pump cycle too slow. So we'll show you the flow rate of the two inch pipe and the finish install on the new standpipe. All right, we're about to change the standpipe and we're gonna test the flow at where we're putting it in. You ready? Yeah. That answers the question. We are going to install it. We want to make sure we have enough flow. Hi, this is Ray from r, &R Innovations again. I'm going to show you the uh, ram pump we've installed. It has a temporary tank on it. We're going to change that out and put PVC in place of it. What I really want to show you is the standpipe design that we come up with to go along with the new ram pump. We're running on four and a half feet of head pressure. That's the water level in here while it's running. We're pumping 140 feet in elevation through a small line, half inch plex, which should be bigger than that, but it's working. Back to the standpipe. Traditional standpipes use a key in the line, which is simple to fix, and they work, but they have a flaw to them. As this water's coming into this T, it's trying to go to the ram pump running, but it's also pushing water up this way, uphill, into the standpipe. And that causes turbulence and slows the velocity going to the ram pump. So in other words, this is more efficient design. We got a 170 foot of line going up the branch, feeding it, two inch line. We have about 30 gallons or so of flow of water at ground level. Up here we got about 20 gallon. And if you come on up here, we would probably have 15 or so. Still plenty enough to feed the ram pump. This could actually be built. If you wanted to change yours, you could just bring your line up to here 
put an elbow in it, come up the pipe, and turn in this way, using a T here or a rubber grommet. Either one would work. And this would increase your water velocity for your ram pump. Thanks for watching the video.